Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. This is the next episode of my VR and AR weekly news. This time with week 27, 2022, you will as always find everything about VR and AR hardware, games, releases and sales. As always, thank you to my sponsors, Vodkos VR, Oppermann Events, Virtual Escape, Slim Beats and VR Rock Prescription Lenses. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de So I made some jokes about this uh, years ago, but now there are some people that had the chance to try the Mojo Vision Smart Contact Lens. And this is crazy. The people from Road to VR, they were on the AWE 2022 demo suit um, um, at Mojo Vision and they had the chance to try the contact lenses. And this is crazy. This is um, micro LED. This is an augmented reality headset at least. And um, this is how it looks when you wear it. It just looks so crazy like a Terminator or something. Yeah. So when you run through the public with this one, people run away from you, I think. <laughs> it's crazy. But they, um, in the future, they will cover that with a real iris looking um, cover. Yeah. And um, yeah, they said uh, for now, it's only um, like monochrome green display. Um, so only one color, but uh, later it, it will of course have a normal display. Um, so they couldn't wear it inside their eyes because of COVID. They had to hold this uh, in, in front of their eyes, but they were able to see the display. And uh, they for now they have a small 15 degrees field of view. This is really small, but it moves with your eyes. So when you move your eyes like left, then the contact lens wandering left as well inside your eyes. And that's how contact lenses work. <laughs> um, and that's so interesting. The lenses are much thicker than normal contact lenses with prescription. Um, so you have to get used to that, of course. Um, they are developing further and it's going smaller and smaller. How does the control work? So there's of course no hand tracking or controller or something. You just control it with your eyes. So for example, you look in the upper right corner and there's a small spot. You look at this and then there's some more information popping uh, up there. Uh, and that's how you can, can control that. So it's absolutely crazy. Um, they say that um, they are working, of course. Um, to, to get it more realistic and to get bigger field of view and good uh, uh, eye tracking. So of course it can track your eyes as well. And then um, it, uh, the, the, the vision is, is better then and stuff. Um, but they say it will not be ready in one year because they need some approvals like FDA approval and stuff. But it will be sooner than five years. And that's very interesting. I mean, this is hardcore future shit. Yeah, look at this. And it will be available in less than five years. I never thought that will happen. And it's crazy. So I hope this will not be too expensive. Yeah. And I hope it will um, be it will not break after one week or something. You have to put it in your eyes and out and in and out. And yeah, that's gonna be tough for the hardware. We will see. So do you think this is the future? Um, do you think it can even um, simulate virtual reality? For, for example, there's in the future, there will be a huge display that will um, cover your side, uh, your vision, and then everything is black in the background and you, you can uh, play VR games with that. That would be so crazy. So what do you think? Write it in the comments below. So I promised this for one of the from the community. Um, so if you have problems with your Valve Index controller and your uh, guarantee is um, out of <laughs> years, <laughs> so then um, you can send it to him. I think it's in Germany. Yeah? You, you have to check it out. If you live in Europe, then it could be a good idea. Otherwise, uh, United States could be a little bit expensive to send it to Germany, but it's your decision. So it's for the drift fix. It's a drift fix for the thumbstick 
for, from the index controllers. So sometimes there is a problem that even when the thumbstick is in the middle, it drifts a little bit to, any, to a special uh, direction and this is a problem. So if you are not able to send it back to valve because no guarantee left, then um, you can send it there and he will replace the plastic thumbstick with a metal one. And that's uh, very interesting. However, it's pretty expensive. It's 55 euro. Uh, I think that's uh, over $60 plus shipping. And then uh, for one controller. And then you get a new index control, uh, a, a repaired index controller with a metal thumbstick. That's nice. Um, if he can't manage to repair it because there are some other issues, then you only have to pay the shipment back. So this is perhaps interesting. And if you want to save a 10%, then use my coupon code VoodooDE, uppercase V, uppercase D, uppercase E. And then um, you get 10% off for the upcoming month. So that's it. You can find the link in the description below. Tour de France in augmented reality. This is something that I, I love yeah this is a, a nice um, example of augmented reality that is really helpful yeah so uh, yes you can watch the uh, tour de france of course in your tv and then you can install um, an app on your ios or android or stuff and then i think she's wearing the Henry light here and then besides the tv you see some information about the race for example the um, the map where they where they are, the positions of the of the um, driver. Here here's a, a, a picture of the driver and information about the track. Uh, you you can watch there, and this is just so cool. This is a good example for a really helpful augmented reality um, app. If you are interested, you can find the link here in this article of VR Scout, and then you can install it on iOS or Android. This is really cool so pancake optics is this the future of virtual reality headset so they have some advantages look at this here this is a pancake optics and it means that through the uh, direction of the light inside the headset um, the distance between the display and lens can be much smaller than with the normal um, vr headset it's only 70 17 millimeter and this is awesome and we also have a 95 degree field of view which is okay it's not ultra big but it's also not ultra small so i think this is around the quest 2 or something and um, this is nice so we can have the um, headset much smaller with that so i uh, look at this here they uh, film through the lens yeah they, they have no free nail lenses. That means we likely have no uh, God ray effects and stuff. Looks pretty clear. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is, this is going to be uh, really awesome. Um, there's only one thing through the um, pancake lenses. The uh, light bounces uh, inside the, the headset, I would say, a few times. And this through this, it's uh, less effective and or efficient. And that means you have to go into the headset with more brightness uh, level. And that means we need more power and we produce more heat. And this is something they uh, need to handle inside these new lenses and headsets. But I'm sure they could manage that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to smaller headsets. Yeah, Perhaps in the Quest 3 or something. We will see. But it's the, the progress of the technology is really nice to see here so uh, i made a video about this uh, this week and it's so interesting because that was uh, from the leaker brad lynch and um, he knew all that stuff before it was officially announced so several hours after i posted the video it was officially announced by facebook that 
from the beginning of August 2022, um, we will only use meta accounts for the quest and quest 2. So Brad Lynch was totally right. And for the future, it's really interesting uh, to see his leaks because they seem to be really good and true. And um, yeah, so what, hap what will happen? So if you have a Facebook account connected to your quest or quest 2, it will be migrated to a meta account. Yeah, if you still have a very old Oculus account for your quest, you can use that until beginning of 2023. After that, you will also have to um, create a meta account. So now the question is for the people that really don't want Facebook. What's the difference? Yeah, what is the difference from a Facebook account to a meta account? I, I mean, they will still collect all our data, of course. Um, and I, I don't I don't know. So what you're gonna need is a meta account and you need a meta horizon social profile. Um, so so this sounds for me the same like the Facebook account. Yeah, I see no difference here. There are still some social data from yourself that you put there. Ah, I don't know. However, you can completely unlink your Facebook account. Um, and of course, the games that you already bought and your friends, they will also, everything will be migrated to your meta account. Also, uh, Instagram here, uh, the friends will become followers on Instagram. This is going to be really, really interesting. And yeah, we will see if there is a huge difference. I mean, there, there will definitely some people that will go into the details of the terms of services. Uh, and they will try to find anything, uh, any data that is collected and they will compare it to the Facebook terms of service. So I'm looking forward to that. What do you think? Does this change anything for you? Write it in the comments below. So check out the first pinned comment under the video if you want to support me. From one buck per month you get behind the scenes videos and early access to my videos. For example, this weekly news you will see at least one day before everyone else. So let's check out the releases. Um, Aerofly FS for Flight Simulator on Steam. Yeah, this is of course a flight simulator. Then we have Steam Ocean. This is a um, space shooter in an abstract world. Uh, village Guardians, yeah, you have to defend your village against waves of enemies. Then the Callisto, that looks pretty cool. Uh, we are on a space station. It's a science fiction uh, exploration game with some puzzle elements. Then Ruins Magus, I already showed that on my channel. I'm not the biggest fan of that because it's very boring. It's Everything looks the same. Uh, Everything looks gray in, inside the ruins. And also I don't like the manga style, especially the voice of the Japanese girls. It's just hurting my nerves. <laughs> but check out my video if you want to see it. VR dungeon. Yeah, we are inside the dungeon. We have to solve some puzzles. And VR Chinese Kung Fu. We have to fight in a Chinese world. Then on the quest, we also have Ruins Magus. And we have the Thief Simulator. I showed the Quest 2 version on my channel. Check out the video if you want to see it. There's nothing new on the Quest, uh, on the Rift or the PlayStation VR this week. And let's check out the sales this week. So the big Steam summer sale is over. So there's nearly nothing on Steam. I found VAR Exterminate. This is a nice shooter, it's 33% off. Then on the PlayStation VR, we have Mask Maker, nice adventure, 75% off. Box Simulation, Box VR, 70%. Arizona Sunshine, Zombie Shooter, 80%. Fisherman's Tale, nice puzzle adventure, 70%. The Assembly, also a nice adventure, 80%. Blind, this is a black and white adventure, 90% off. And Rick and Morty, Virtual Reality, Virtual Reality <laughs> is 70% off. This is a fun VR adventure. So guys, please check out the first pinned comment. If you want to support me, that would be really awesome. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.